Hi, welcome. Happy Wednesday. Hi, so I just want to um, say that I'm really sorry for any freezing that's going on on the feed. Um, some people are watching the day before, so if that works for you, great. Um, if showing up and if freezing, um, or even coming in and saying hi and then going and watching another um, yoga video, that's good too. So here we go. Um, walk and straps today. I'm just coming to sitting, simple seated, either on a block or just sitting bones, lengthening through the crown, taking your sacrum down, elongating through the crown of your head. Notice your breath. And just following the breath, following the inhalation to the exhalation and the exhalation into the inhalation. Just really just being present with the breath, the inhale and the exhale, and the exhale and the inhale. And then when the breath becomes large, I want you to begin to um, move in or I invite you to come into Ujjayi breath. Just beginning to harness the breath, slight constriction in the throat, really pulling that breath all the way into your feet, all the way through the crown of your head into your shoulders, just taking it into every part of the body. So we're really just coming into our body. We might have been in our heads all day and we're just coming in contact with the ground, with the room we're in, with our breath. Let's go ahead and exhale completely, slowly opening your eyes. We're gonna bring the shoulders up, taking the shoulder blades down, squeezing, dropping your shoulder blades down your back. Drop your pubic bone lengthening, lumbar, thoracic, upper thoracic cervical exhale dropping your chin down to your chest we're going to take the chin to the right shoulder on an inhalation exhale center inhaling to the left exhale center lower ribs back to the kidneys inhaling over to the right we're going to take it all the way around this time driving it with the eyes. I really want you to feel what you're doing. I want you to stay on that edge of the tightness, exhaling to the left. One more breath, one more round. Exhaling to the left. Standing through the crown, finding the connection from the sacrum to the crown. Shoulders are going to come up, taking your shoulder blades down your back. Drop your pubic bone, lengthening lumbar, thoracic, upper thoracic, looking up. Exhale, dropping your chin down to your chest. We're going to take the chin to the left shoulder. Exhale, center. Inhaling over to the right. Exhale, center. We're gonna take the left, we're gonna go to the left shoulder and we're gonna drive it all the way around with the eyes. Exhaling to the right. Inhaling to the left, keep those shoulder blades down the back, lower ribs to the kidneys. Exhaling to the right. Sitting through the crown of the head. Shoulders are going to come up. Take your shoulder blades down your back. Squeezing, dropping your shoulders down. Drop your pubic bone lengthening. Lumbar, thoracic, upper thoracic. Finally, cervical. Exhale, dropping your chin down to your chest. And then looking forward. Taking the left hand over to the right knee. Right hand back. Again, grounding the sitting bones and lengthening through the crown. Exhale, twisting. 
And again, ground, open, extend, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more breath. We're gonna hold it, and then we're gonna look forward, and we're gonna undo. We're gonna recross the legs. Sitting bones lengthen through the crown. Get your connection from your sacrum to the crown. Come to your breath, consciously come to the breath. Right hand to the left knee, left hand back. Drop the pubic bone, lengthen to the sternum, twisting. And then ground, open, extend, lengthen, exhale, twist. One more breath. We're gonna hold that twist, look forward, and we're gonna undo. Left, the top of the wrist, all the way along the side body. Shoulder blades down the back, coming over to the right. We're gonna bend this left elbow. We're gonna take the sternum up to the ceiling, elbow, and then extending this left arm. Maybe looking at that left palm. We're gonna come almost all the way up, really anchor that left sitting bone down. And then we're gonna twist, looking back at the left palm. And then we're gonna anchor and we're gonna come all the way forward. We're gonna come alongside the ear. We're gonna come almost all the way out. And then we're gonna just shake that arm out. We're gonna take the right shoulder blade down the back, top of the right wrist, and we're gonna bring that arm alongside the ear. So we have the wrist in line with the shoulder in line with the sitting bone. We're gonna come over to the left. We're gonna bend this right elbow up to the ceiling, pubic bone to the ceiling, looking up, shoulders down the back, collarbones wide, extending this right arm. Maybe looking, we're gonna come all the way out. So even these small movements are really powerful. And then we're gonna twist back to this right palm and then anchor the sitting bone and we're gonna come all the way forward, looking at that right palm. Almost all the way out, all the way out. And then just shaking this arm out. So I just wanna say something about the practice today. Um, yesterday we worked with like exhaling completely and I still want to like focus on that. So as we inhale, on the exhale, I want you to be with all the way to the end of the exhale. But I also want um, just to say that I, I want, I'm working today on being gentle and showing up no matter how I show up today in this practice. And um, also like just feeling my feelings, right? Like um, that, that they come, they, the feelings come to be felt and to pass. And that just because I'm feeling something doesn't mean it's factual. So like if fear arises, I get to just feel that and then walk through it. Tell myself the truth about the situation and focus what I can do something about. So um, be gentle today in the practice. Um, knees, if that serves you. <laughs> knees underneath the hips, palms underneath the shoulders, middle finger tracking. And then we're going to bend the elbows, sitting bones up, drop your belly, lift your sternum, look up, get round. Exhaling, we're going to come into cat. Inhaling into cow. Exhaling into cat. Feeling your spine, inhaling, opening. Exhaling into cat. We're going to come to neutral table. We're going to grab the right palm and we're going to bring the left hand up. I'm going to look down at my right palm. I'm going to keep my hips square as much as I can. I'm going to look up at that left palm and then I'm going to thread this left arm all the way through. Right palm is going to press, then I'm going to take this right palm on top of my left, bring this right arm up, ujjayi breath, releasing the hand to the hip, palm is going to face up, top of the wrist, all the way along the side body, ujjayi breath. I'm going to take the right palm underneath my shoulder, pressing to come out. 
back into table. I'm going to ground the left palm this time and take my right hand up. Looking down at the left, I'm going to turn to look up at the right, opening the chest, feel. Right hand's going to come all the way through. Left palm is going to press to help stack this left shoulder over the right. Left palm maybe on this right. Again, only going as far as is comfortable. Maybe bringing this left arm up, bringing this left arm down, palm faces up, top of the wrist all the way along the side body, overhead, ujjayi breath. Focusing on the exhale. Left hand comes underneath the left shoulder, pressing to come out, back into table. And then we're going to bring the sitting bones to the heels, kind of wiggle the, um, the belly on the thighs, and rest your forehead, and just feel your lower back. Allow it to relax. We're going to look forward, we're going to extend all the way from the sitting bone, or from the hip, all the way to the palm. So this core. We're going to look forward, ground the palms, the full circumference of those palms, tuck your toes, and we're going to come into downward facing dog. We're going to ground the palms, bring your hips away from your wrists. I'm going to slightly or deeply bend to my knees to really bring my hips up and my belly into the apex of the pose. We're going to imagine that one of our classmates has um, our, our, around our upper thighs and is pulling back. And as we're imagining that, just sending goodwill to your, your classmates. We're going to ground the left foot, take your right leg into a diagonal. And then we're going to release that right leg down into down dog again. We're going to ground the right foot, take your left leg into a diagonal. Releasing the left foot down. We're going to go ahead and heel toe all the way forward. We're going to bring the feet directly underneath the hips. Bend your knees, put your thumbs in your elbow pits. Let your um, neck release. Again, you can have the elbows on the thighs here. Ujjayi breath. Really allowing the torso to release, and then letting your arms hang like cooked noodles. I want you to get the circumference of the, of the four corners of the feet, the feet. Ground the feet, press them, engage your quads, tuck your sacrum, and we're going to roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. We're going to open the chest, bringing the palms facing up, hips are going forward, and we're going to bring the arms extending up. Palms are going to come all the way around to your heart and just close your eyes and release. Okay, so we're going to do a few of these. Um, we're going to inhale, open, just really opening the chest, opening the palms, and then exhale, we're going to release all the way down. And then we're going to swing back up all the way, hips forward, opening. Exhale, releasing down. Inhale, opening. So the torso, chest is, our um, hips are up. Exhale, folding. And again, inhale, opening. Exhale, folding. So hips forward, torso, or the hips are stable, release. Do it again. Opening and releasing. And then let's come, just bring the arms up. We're going to bring the palms to the heart and release. 
And I want you just to wash, let that wash over you, feel it. We're gonna step our feet a little wide. We're gonna bring the palms to face up, take the right palm up, left, left L holds that palm, pressing up. Find the connection from your sacrum to your, to your crown, engage your quads, and then we're gonna press. We're gonna bring the hips a little bit over to the right as we come over to the left. We're gonna turn down to look at the floor, breathing. Now, I'm gonna to try to keep this right shoulder over the left. I'm gonna turn either to look forward or up at the ceiling, ujjayi breath. We're gonna press and come out. Press everything up. Just feel it. Body. Palms are gonna face up again. Left palm faces, right hand. Press. Find the connection from the sacrum all the way to the heels. Elongating through the crown, through the palm. Hips go to the left, and we're gonna to turn to look down at the floor. Really working, not this, don't let this come around. Really opening here. Even if that means that I can't go very far. Find your breath, find your feet grounding, maybe looking up. Make sure the neck is free. Way out, pressing. And then just let the arms hang, release. Zamboni. We're gonna to come to the top of the mat and we're gonna do some sun salutations. Sacrum down, belly back, torso st stabilization, shoulders over those sitting bones, palms to the heart, empty your breath. We're gonna bend the knees. We're gonna tighten the bottom. We're gonna come into a forward fold. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Fold right foot back, left foot back. Nice, strong plank. If you need to drop to your knees, please do that. Shoulders are down away from the ears. Sacrum is, is circling around to the lower belly. We're gonna to come to the toes, we're gonna to bend the elbows tight through chaturanga all the way down to the ground. We're gonna zip up those legs, energize them, pubic bone to the sternum, lifting, pressing into the palms, neck is free, maybe looking forward, maybe, but uh, the, the cervical needs to be long. Keep your elbows tight, releasing, tuck your toes, press into those, the palms, Follow the exhale all the way. We're gonna ground the left foot. Take your right leg into a diagonal. And then we're gonna bring this right, right foot steps. Drop your left heel, hips square, and we're gonna come up for warrior one. Shoulder blades down the back, lower ribs back to the kidneys. Ujjayi breath. Soften the toes, and then we're gonna release down. Plank, chaturanga, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. We're gonna ground the right foot, take your left leg into a diagonal. Left foot is gonna come through. We're gonna drop that back heel, hips squared, sacrum down. In really engage that back quad. Shoulders down the back, widening the collarbones, softening the toes, four corners ground, maybe looking up. Lower ribs back to the kidneys though. And we're going to release, plank, chaturanga, cobra or up dog. So, so make sure you're um, integral here. 
Exhale, down dog. Exhaling, grounding the left foot, taking your um, right leg into a diagonal. And we're going to bring the right foot all the way through. We're going to ground the left heel. Really reach out for warrior one. Palms are going to come to the heart. Knee is over that heel, opening out for warrior two. Sacrum down. Quads moving back. Drop the shoulders. Looking over that right middle finger. Ujjayi breath. Follow the exhalation. We're going to inhale back along the back leg. Looking up at that right palm. And then we're going to come into modify. Take a breath here. Sacrum engages strongly. Lowering maybe deeper, maybe coming to a block here. Side angle. Left hand all the way around. Left over the sitting bone. Sacrum down. Quad. Back palm faces up. And we're going to cartwheel ball of the back of the foot into plank, long cervical here, chaturanga, cobra or up dog, exhale down dog, we're going to go on the right foot, take your left leg into a diagonal, left foot is going to come through, Round your right heel. Coming up for warrior one. Palms are going to come to the heart. We're going to open out for warrior two. Shoulder blades down the back. Sacrum down. Quads back. Torso stability, shoulders really drive down, but wrists are in line with the shoulders. So make sure you're not up high or down low. Make sure those lines of energy are clean. Inhale, back leg. Exhale, modified side angle. Take a moment to just feel this. Nice dynamicness all the way through the palm. Quads engage all the way to the back heel. Maybe lowering, coming deeper. Right hand's going to come all the way around. Pulling back to warrior two. Really engaged here. It's strong. Back palm faces up. Coming to the ball of the back of the foot. Back to plank. Chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take the right foot forward, left foot forward. Nice parallel feet. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, tighten the bottom. Arms are going to come up. And then we're going to press all the way, opening. Palms are going to come to the heart. Shoulders down the back. Close your eyes and just receive. We're going to step the foot out, and we're going to be wide here. We're going to try to bring our, our knees um, over our heels, and our, our feet are pointed out. Hands are just right above the knees, and my elbows are up to my ears. I want you to feel, um, I want you to feel you find your sitting bones, and I want you to find your sacrum. And I want you to feel that your sitting bones and your sacrum are getting really heavy. We're going to dip this right shoulder 
We're going to turn to look over the left. Exhaling back to center. Follow that exhale. Left elbow or left um, shoulder comes in. Inhaling, looking over the right shoulder. Follow this exhale as we dip the right shoulder. Inhale, drink the breath. Exhale, dip the left shoulder, looking over the right. If you need to come out, do that. We're going to dip the right shoulder, turning to look over the left. Exhaling left, this is the last one. We're going to come back to center. Find your sacrum, drop it down, lift your sternum. Coming into cactus, and then press out. Come into mountain pose, just feel that for a minute. Okay, we're going to do one more thing with that. We're going to step out again, and we're going to come low. Once you're low, we're going to come back into cactus. Now, I really want you to stabilize the sacrum, and we're going to just turn the right, we're going to turn to the left, sorry, bring your left elbow, turn to the right, right elbow forward, left back, try to keep the knees over the heels, just feel your spine beginning to maybe warm up. Be connected to your breath, okay, and then press. Come, come to mountain, and just feel that. We're going to come to the top of the mat, palms together. We're going to bend the knees, we're going to sit, bring the arms up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, lengthen, fold, right foot back, left foot back, plank, chaturanga, cobra or up dog, exhale, down dog. We're going to ground the left foot and we're going to take the right leg into a diagonal. We're going to take the right heel to the bottom, open that right knee strong, maybe looking forward, maybe looking over at that left shoulder, maybe playing with balance, maybe soft, slightly or softly dropping that right foot, opening the chest. We're going to bring this right arm back around, back into diagonal, squaring. And then we're going to bring this right foot through. We're going to ground the left heel, coming up for warrior one. We're going to straighten that right leg, and we're going to turn out to the left. This hip is, at, um, is um, over to the left. Right hip, or right hip is um, hinged. And we're going to come forward for triangle. All in one plane. Really reaching this left wrist up, letting this right arm um, hang from there, maybe looking up, maybe looking forward, maybe looking down, maybe doing all three. Left palm is going to face towards the right, alongside the ear, reaching, really lifting the sternum up. Left hand is going to come around, we're going to bend this right knee, and we're going to come back into warrior two. Sacrum down, quads back. Inhale, back arm along the back leg. Right arm's going to come around. We're going to shorten the stance, interlace, lift the sternum, look up. Exhale, fold over this right leg. Maybe the um, shoulder's going to hit. And then arms are working away. 
The, the wrists are working away from the shoulders, pulling them away from the ears, coming over. We're going to go ahead and lift, coming into crescent. Palms are going to come together, maybe taking this left elbow across. We're going to lift the palms back up for, or towards the front, and then we're going to take this right elbow, right forearm, opening for side angle. Left hand's going to come all the way around, back into warrior two. That palm faces up, and we're going to cartwheel all the way forward. Plank, chaturanga, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, breathe. So we're still working on the, the right side. So we're going to ground the left foot, and we're going to take the right leg into a diagonal. And we're going to bring this right foot all the way through into pigeon prep. Need um, something underneath that right There. Pubic bone to the sternum looking up. Exhale, we're going to come forward. Ujjayi breath. If you need to come to a, um, a block right here with your elbows, you can do that. Really taking your breath into that right hip. This left quad is wrapping around. Nice elongation going on here. We're going to lift with the sternum. And we're going to bend this left knee. And maybe we're going to reach back. And maybe we're going to bring that into the elbow pit. Maybe we're going to extend this right arm out. Maybe reaching back, squaring. Ujjayi breath here. Following the exhalation, we're going to release gently, tuck that back toe, and we're going to press back into downward facing dog. And just allow for it to undo. We're going to ground the right foot. And we're going to take the left leg into a diagonal. We're going to take the left heel to the bottom. We're going to open that left hip point strong. Maybe looking forward. Maybe turning to look over that right shoulder to see if you can see that left foot. And then we're going to release and maybe come into wild things. Hips go up. Lift the sternum. Either the arm can come out to the side or overhead. Breathe. And then this left hand is going to come around. I hop on that, the ball of the foot and come back into downward facing dog um, with, with the leg extended. Left foot is going to come through. Ground your right heel. Square this right hip point around for warrior one. Back quad is engaged. Palms are going to come to the heart. Is that right? Coming to warrior two, I think it is. Drop your shoulders, got lost. Inhale, back arm along the back leg. Oh no, triangle, so sorry. Then we're gonna straighten the front leg. And release the arms down, we're gonna come forward. Just like class. <laughs> Left hand down, right hand to the hip. We're gonna open the right shoulder. Bring this right arm up. Ujjayi breath. Palm is going to face, 
Long side, the ear reaching. Lifting the sternum up. Back heel is strong, back quad is strong. Right hand comes all the way around, back to warrior two. There we go. Inhale, back arm along the back leg. And then we're going to shorten the stance. Interlace, lift the sternum up. Exhale, fold forward. Keep the wrist working away from the, the ears. Release your neck and your head. Arms may be coming up and over. We're going to pull out with our wrist. Come to the ball of the back of the foot. And then we're going to bring the palms to the heart. We're going to twist the right elbow over across the left um, thigh. Pull the, pull the sternum away from the pubic bone. Hips move in towards each other. And then keep pressing into the palms. Press into the palms. Left forearm on that thigh. Drop your heel. Opening out for either modified side angle or full side angle. Right hand's gonna come all the way around, keep it low, it might burn a little bit, drop your shoulders, back palm faces, and we're gonna cartwheel all the way forward. Plank, chaturanga, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. So we're still gonna be on working with this left leg, we're gonna ground the right foot, Take your left leg into a diagonal, and we're gonna bring this left foot all the way through for a pit and prep. So the thing about this is that you can bring that heel in further to make sure those hips are squared and get height. It's important that the hips are squared. This quad is wrapping in, and then I'm gonna lift my sternum up. So if I'm using a block, I'm going to have it right here and maybe just bring my forearms and really work with squaring. I might even have this block underneath this left sitting. Ujjayi breath, lengthening. Slowly come out. We're going to engage this right knee, take the right knee off just to lengthen, and then place that right knee and maybe reaching back. Ujjayi breath. Maybe it's going to slide. Maybe not. Maybe bringing this left arm out. Maybe bringing the left arm up. Ujjayi breath. We're going to release. Tuck that toe. And we're going to come back into downward facing dog. We're going to step the right foot forward, left foot forward. Inhale, flat back, fold. Bend your knees, your shoulder blades down, bringing up for, for a chair, pressing all the way up, lifting the sternum, arms, palms to your heart. Close your eyes and just receive. So we're going to do a round of flip it. Come back a little bit further than halfway from the mat. Ground the feet, sacrum down, belly back. 
Shoulder blades down the back, lower ribs are working back to the kidneys, so the circle's going this way. Just come to your breath. We're gonna go ahead and bring the palms out. We're gonna bend. We're gonna come a little bit of a push-up. Feel the heels, full foot presses, elongate. We're gonna lower down again, position. Right foot through, back to position, left foot through. Back to position, ground all the way up, drop the shoulders, elongate. We're gonna lower again, back to position. Left foot forward, right foot back. Right foot forward, left foot back. Back to position, ground, drop your shoulders, elongate. We're gonna lower down again to position. Right arm back, left arm back. You can be on your knees here. Right arm around, left arm. Left arm back, right arm, left arm, right arm. Ground your feet, drop your shoulders, make sure your neck is free. We're gonna lower down, we're gonna step or jump the feet back, lower the hips so you're keeping the sternum, and then using your belly to press back. Position coming all the way to the top of the mat. We're gonna lower all the way down, Coming through plow, and then we're going to pull back up, shoulder blades down the back, drop, close your eyes and just receive. Maybe getting a sip of water. Okay, good job. Let's, um, Let's do tree, warrior three, half moon. So you might need a block for that. Oh my gosh, it's fine. Okay, we're gonna make, we're gonna make it work. So we're gonna ground the left foot, sacrum down, belly back, elongate. We're gonna turn the right knee out. We're gonna bring this right heel wherever you're gonna work it. Lower leg above the knee, or all the way into the inner thigh. Hips are going forward, knee is opening, sacrum down, belly back. Strong torso stabilization, sacrum, finding the connection to the crown all the way to the heel. Maybe bringing the arms up. Maybe interlacing them. Really dropping the shoulders away from the ears. Widening the collarbones. Face is soft. We're going to take this right knee in and we're going to press back for warrior three. So from warrior three, we're going to take the left hand to the hip. We're going to take this right thumb, a foot in front of the pinky toe. Oh my gosh, I'm doing revolve, sorry. Left hand, um, a foot in front. We're gonna open this right hip, right shoulder, and bring this right arm up. Really extending through the ball of that back foot. We're gonna take the right hip point down, and we're gonna pass back through warrior three. If you're having trouble with balance like me, it's not a big deal. Just kind of go with it. And then we're going to bring this right foot in back for a tree. And then we're going to release down, close your eyes, and just receive. Come back to the breath. Come back to, um, we're, we're going to come just a balance, so Zamboni. We're going to ground the right foot. Find your gazing point. Sacrum down, belly back. Shoulder blades down the back. Lift the sternum. Grounding into that right foot. Find a gazing point. Come to your breath. Bringing this left heel wherever you're going to work it. You might even touch your hip points and feel them. Sacrum down. That left knee opens. And then this right shoulder counters that. Coming all the way up into tree. Face is soft. 
gaze is soft. Everything's really lengthened here. Just see if you can um, be present um, and grounded like a tree. We're going to turn this left knee in and we're going to come for warrior three. So from warrior three, we're going to take the left hand to the hip. We're going to take this right thumb a foot in front of the pinky so you can be on a block here. Extending through that left ball of the foot, opening the left shoulder, and extending this left arm up. Ujjayi breath. Okay, it's relaxed. We're going to take this left hip point down, and we're going to come forward into warrior three, and then we're going to bend the right. Lower ribs back to the kidneys, palms to the heart. Close your eyes and just receive. Okay, so um, down through squat. And we're going to sit and let's do a, a little bit of abs. So I think we're going to do this one. We haven't done this one this week. And we're going to go there. So I'm using a weight for this. And I, told, I didn't say a weight, but hopefully you have your stuff all together. You don't need a weight for this. We're going to go in the back. I'm on my sitting bones. I'm going to come back. Shins parallel. This is where I'm going to take the weight. And I'm going to really lift my sternum up. I'm going to turn to the right, lift up, turn to the left, lift up, turn to the right, lift up, turn to the left. We're going to do this for at least a minute. So if a minute seems too long, uh, you can take a break and like 15 minutes when we have, or not 15 minutes. When we have 15 seconds left, I'll invite you back in. Stay focused with your breath. Lift. Lift. Stay connected to your breath. Face is soft. Okay, 15 seconds left. Five seconds left. You got this. And we're done. Take a break. So now from the sitting bones, I want you to just kind of pull them back. Make sure you're up on the sitting bones. Lift your sternum. Shins parallel, and we're going to bring the legs up, extending through the heels and through the balls, and maybe bringing the arms alongside. We're going to hold this for 30 seconds. Now, if it's too much, you can always come out and come back in. That's as effective. So please be respectful of where you're at. Lifting with that sternum. Neck is free, extending through the big toe mounds. And we're done. Actually, let's do one more thing before we're completely done. Um, let's just go ahead and lower into our backs. And we're going to bring our shoulders. And make sure your lower back is long. And we're going to have our knees directly under or over our hips. And then I want you just to take the toe and touch it down and bring it back up. Touch the toe, left toe, bring it down or up, back up. Touch the toe, bring it back up. Okay. 
and then maybe even together. And if together is too much, you can just do one toe at a time. 15 more seconds. Okay, so bring those knees into the chest and just rock them. Okay, we're gonna roll over onto the side and we're gonna press up and we are gonna do um, one more thing here. So um, I want you to make sure that you have the strap close and we are going to start in staff pose, or yeah, staff pose. So from staff pose, we're gonna bend this right, right foot and we're gonna bring it over to the left part of the mat. And we're gonna bring this left knee over on top of the right knee. And then I'm gonna to come to my sitting bones and I'm gonna hold my feet. Now, if this isn't gonna work for you, you can always come to sit on a block. So, have, have integrity in your pose, and don't be afraid to um, have a, use the assistance of the block. So I'm going to just take my right hand, I'm going to pull it um, behind my um, left calf, and I'm just going to kind of like, I'm just helping adjust it a little bit. And then I'm going to come to my sitting bones, and I'm going to bring my strap, and I'm going to be wide here. And I'm going to come all the way back. Lift with the sternum and four more. Back. Three more. Two more. Feel what you're doing back there with those shoulders. If it's smooth, just be grateful. If it's crunchy in places, just really be mindful and breathe in. I'm gonna hold my feet, I'm gonna ground my pubic bone, and I'm gonna just begin to come forward a little bit. Keep my neck free. Release my neck. Kiss the pose and come out. Sitting bones, I'm going to extend my legs, spread the toes, shoulders over the sitting bones, bend the knees again. I'm going to slide my left foot over to the right, and then I'm going to take my right knee over my left, maybe sitting on a block. You still can do this on a block. I'm going to come to my sitting bones, hold my feet for a moment, try to come back, Bringing my shoulders over my sitting bones. Come to your breath. And then we're going to come to the strap. Shoulder width. We're going to extend all the way up. Shoulders, or sorry, sitting bones in line with shoulders in line with wrist. We're going to pull this time. Pull, 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 pull. Touch your shoulders. Release your neck. Inhale, pull, pull, pull. Release. And again. Three more breaths. When I say breaths, I'm meaning around both the inhale in and exhale two more times. This is last. This is two. And then we have one more. Release and just feel it. We're going to drop the pubic bone. I'm going to hold my feet and I'm gonna come forward. I'm gonna find the pubic bone. I want you to find your pubic bone in your sternum. Releasing, really breathing into those hips. 
Neck is free, released. And then we're gonna come out. We're gonna we're gonna extend our legs back into staff pose. We're gonna bend those knees and bring the heels in. We're gonna slide our bottom to the heels. And we're gonna keep sliding the bottom to the heels. Shoulder blades down the back, palms. And we're gonna just bring our hips up for bridge. We're gonna inhale, arms overhead, exhale, releasing from the upper thoracic all the way down. Arms come down, we're gonna do that um, four more times. So inhale, lift, exhale, releasing. Inhale, lifting. Keep pressing to those feet, hips up, exhaling, trying to coordinate the movement with the breath. Press and release. We're gonna do one more. Inhaling up. Up and then release. We're gonna bring this right knee into the chest. We're gonna extend through the left heel. Left foot on top of that, um, or sorry, right foot on the left thigh, right arm out at a T. We're gonna pull the right knee over to the left. Pubic bone to the sternum, looking up, and then exhaling to the right. Two more breaths here. We're gonna bring this right knee into the chest, hugging it. We're gonna bend both knees, release those hips, bring your left knee into the chest, extend through the right, keep pulling that in. Left foot on top of the right thigh, left arm out of the T. We're gonna pull this left knee over to the right, looking up at the ceiling, looking over the left maybe, and two more breaths. We're gonna bring the left knee into the chest, hugging it. We're gonna bend both knees, release the lower back, extending one leg out, the other leg, let them roll out, shoulder blades tuck, palms face up. Make sure you're completely comfortable. Just take a nice deep breath in, feel the support of the ground. And on the exhale, maybe make any more adjustments that you need to make in order for the body to be completely free and relaxed on the ground. And I want you to imagine that you're just a your wide open lake. So next inhalation, I want you to begin to deepen your breath, breathing energy, vitality, oxygen, openness, expansiveness into your feet, legs, pelvis, torso, shoulders, all the way through the crown of your head. 
Next inhalation, breathing energy, vitality, oxygen, openness, expansiveness into your shoulders, arms, elbows, forearms, wrist, palms of the hands and fingertips. And as you continue to drink your breath, I want you to begin to bring your arms overhead like you're waking up in the morning, extending all the way through your fingertips, all the way through your heels. And then just rotating your ankles and your wrist in full rotations, like you're going through um, honey instead of air. And then reversing the direction of the rotations. And then we're gonna bend this, we're gonna bend both knees, press the feet into the floor to release your lower back. We're gonna bring the right knee into the chest, the right arm to that leg, left knee, left arm. Let there be space. And then just gently massage your lower back from side to side. Feel what you're doing. And then we're gonna come over onto one side into fetal position. And just take a moment, um, I'm like actually holding my hands. Um, just take a moment and acknowledge that you showed up and you participated and how huge that is. And it's a big deal pressing your palms into the floor, coming into simple seated, getting grounded from the grounding, elongating, coming into simple or, or half lotus, whatever you're choosing. Bringing your shoulders over your sitting bones, lengthening. Just take a moment to notice how you feel. Coming into your breath and just following your next exhalation all the way out. I'm gonna bring the palms to the heart. I want to thank you for being here with me today. Like it's helping me. I hope it's helping you. Um, may this may this practice be a blessing, and um, I hope this finds you well. Namaste.